I just looked at eight. And I was like, oh, I was pretty close. Yeah, I don't talk about that. <laughs> I was like, but yeah, we got to take a little better care of that. But I, yeah, PJ played great against Kentucky except for the dang technical foul. Yeah. It cost us four straight points. Yeah. Well, and the other part was, I don't yeah. know what he said or did. Yeah, I didn't it either. Was, it is impossible to tell. But you've got to know that when you're playing in Kentucky. Yeah, you're not getting the calls, bud. Yeah, all you have to do is say, shoot, darn it. Yeah. And they're going to bap. And because you're supposed to lose. Yeah. And they're going to do everything in their power to make sure you do. That's right. I mean, Kentucky so paid you to be here. They're not paying yeah. you to beat them. <laughs> yeah. Be here, not be eight. Especially here. two in a row. Yeah. And, like, okay, we were on, we had a really a lot of momentum going, and Trey hit that uh, three. And all of a sudden, the whistle blows. And they call it a flop warning. How you doing? Good. How are you, young you man? Started? I do not. There you go. Oh, I got him. I thought you were asking me. No, I thought I'd share a little information before I asked for some. You're nice. Who you got for okay, us? For us, us them. for us, it's three, four, 11, 22, and 24. Brandon Morley's out. Brandon Morley's out. Tweaked his knee. Last couple minutes of the Kentucky game. Isaiah White. Kind of limping off. I didn't see it at all. Isaiah White, you know, strained his MCL last couple minutes of whatever game. It's like, okay, the last two minutes of the game is we need to get starters out. Well, he, Morley, when he fouled out, was he was limping a little bit. Was he? He limped off the court. But what I was going to tell you on that flop thing, we watched it, we rewatched it, and Trey came down on the guy's foot. So of course he fell down because he shot, and the guy's and as he landed, the guy's foot went right under his heel, and he went and fell down. And they said, "Floppy." Yeah, and you're like, "Oh my hell!" Here we go. Yeah. Now we're going to find everything we possibly can to try to lose. You have to expect that. Yep, that's going to happen. It was a really hard game to call because you could not see a scoreboard unless you went like this. Oh. There was nothing in the corners. Yeah. And so I'm counting on this. And the guy running this was at least three minutes five. And then he caught up and got it wrong. So, I just, over the place. so I'm keeping score, and at the very end I made one mistake, so I'm off a point from them, and I'm thinking I'm right, he's wrong, so I'm announcing the wrong score. Either way, we lost. But I'll tell you, it's unbelievable that the arena that night has been fixed as possible. I know. This show in this age, there's no media room. They have a big area, and they put a curtain up. Sacred and hallowed, but <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll assume that.
people are where? <laughs> yeah, they'll be here next week. Our next home game's not so. Like, I know, I went and looked, and I was like, oh, I guess we won't worry about. Uh, I've got three more home games. This is a terrible, terrible schedule for home. Hey, James, sorry. Yeah, that's me. Good. How are you, my friend? Did, did you watch the Kentucky UVU game the other night? Uh, we we had a man D down by a point with three and a half minutes to play, and uh, the officials clearly were not going to let us win. K Kentucky made 31 free throws and we made 11. So we we actually outplayed them. We just uh, put them in the foul line too much. But it it was it was pretty amazing. So we'll see if there's a hangover tonight. Hopefully not. We'll get rocking and rolling. So uh, life as always, just probably one uh, break during the national anthem and then. Uh, one minute breaks during the game. I'll throw it to you for halftime. How about that? And you you can update everybody and tell them what the crap happened to you to BYU. Jake Toulson went over there and decided he he's still playing for UVU. Really, he's gonna throw he's gonna throw it behind the back to anybody. <laughs> don't say don't say that. <laughs> Now, we're, we're not on the air, are we? <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't want to hear my analysis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. Well, we appreciate you being there. Are you here all night? Excellent. We'll look forward to it. There's an NFL game tonight, isn't there? Houston, I think. Oh, there you go. So you got some th you got some things to talk about. I They're getting killed by Coastal Carolina? You're kidding me. I want Oh my word. I want to go play in Myrtle Beach so bad. 3 days in Myrtle Beach. Yeah, I don't want to play there. I just want to go there. I've been there many times. It's It's yeah, a, it's, yeah, a, it's, it's the, a great little school. It's the best, dude. They have an awesome little football stadium and football team. The girls all come to games in bikinis and go to the beach. I, you know, that's inappropriate, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly why I like going there, Josh. Come exactly. on. You don't exactly. see that crap in Provo. Exactly. We used to like going to play UNC Wilmington for the same reason. <laughs> oh, my word. We really should, like, do a all right, yeah, if you'll get our podcast on, it'll be great. <laughs> our <laughs> podcast, we can say whatever we want.
and we welcome you to the UCCU Center on the campus of Utah Valley University, where this evening the Wolverines of Utah Valley, three and two on this young season, are playing host to the Cardinals from Lamar University, who come in here three and one. Lamar, six-time NCAA tournament team. Wolverines coming off a, uh, a game against Kentucky. I'm Jim McCullough. It's alongside Josh Kalunke. And, Josh, I got to just ask, what do you think? Is there a chance for an emotional, psychological letdown for UVU? Well, you know, Jim, it's easy to think that that might be the case. But, you know, I know that uh, Coach Mark Madsen is not going to allow that kind of thing to happen because, quite honestly, uh, if you don't win the game, it's not a victory. Uh, now, we might, you and I might look at it as, <laughs> hey, our little old Utah Valley guys went in and sure challenged Kentucky. But you know what? When you're on this team, you didn't come out with a win. And so because of that, uh, you're looking at it completely differently than maybe some of the folks from the outside world who are saying, oh, what a surprise. They, yeah. they played them really, really tough. Well, playing people tough and winning is completely different when you're wearing the shorts. So what you're saying is the Wolverines of Utah Valley have, have grown past the point of needing moral victories. Yeah, it, it, moral victories, uh, I mean, uh, I, I don't want to say moral victories are for losers, but moral, <laughs> <laughs> moral victories are, are really, you know, something that you hope you get past at, at one point and you start counting victories instead of the moral ones. Uh, now, while Utah Valley did show out very, very well, had a great uh, win at University of Alabama, Birmingham, which was very impressive. The second half they played extremely yeah. well and uh, then went and carried that over into Kentucky. Now, that was without leading scorer and uh, uh, leading rebounder, excuse me, Isaiah White. And uh, he could have really helped them in that game. But, again, no excuses. Went in, gave Kentucky everything we had, threw our best punch. I just weren't able to get him to the mat. Isaiah White averaging a double-double, 14 points, 10 rebounds. Has missed the last two games. He's out with a strained MCL. He told me it's indefinite. Uh, doctors haven't really told him when he'll be back, but they said do not rush it because – if you tear it, if you come back too early, yeah. you're probably going to tear it and your season is over. So he doesn't want to come back. But now the Wolverines are down another starter. Brandon Morley will not play tonight. Seven foot senior center for UVU evidently tweaked his knee in the last minute against Kentucky. And so now you got Isaiah with a knee injury. Brandon Morley, they're down. They played five games, they're down two starters. This is not good. Yeah. Well, and the worst part about that, Jim, is that those two starters represent uh, <laughs> a good portion of the size on this roster. Uh, when you look at uh, guys that are, are in the mix as far as rebounding, six foot seven and over, well, there's two of your four. Uh, now it kind of leaves Utah Valley with kind of everybody attack the glass to rebound because you have to have team rebounding big time when you don't have anybody big in the middle. So the way I count it, UBU now has seven scholarship players available to them tonight, plus three walk-ons. And you and I. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and if they get down, if they get down to me, <laughs> they get down to me, they're in trouble. <laughs> One trip down the court, and I'll be calling for water. Yeah, you you you, you haven't seen the number of technical fouls a guy can pick up. <laughs> All right, Lamar comes in here. They're no pushover team. They're three and one. All three of their wins though have come at home. They're part of the uh, BNN. A tournament or not tournament a classic that UVU is part of it's Utah Valley Kentucky UAB this Lamar team and Mount St. Mary's up in uh, Ed Emmitsburg Maryland UVU playing Lamar tonight then on the road against North Dakota State then Mount St. Mary's meanwhile uh, Lamar got UVU tonight here on Thursday they go play Kentucky on Sunday they stay on the road until Tuesday where they play at UAB uh, these guys are missing a lot of school from Lamar. Yeah. Well, and, you, and the worst part about this, missing school this time of year is you're getting right down towards finals. Yeah. And so these guys, uh, you know, college athletes, they do a lot of, of uh, work on the road, Jim. Lamar predicted to win the Southland Conference this year. They're averaging 81 points a game. They've won their games by 46 points, by 45 points, by 15. Their only loss was at Duquesne. Uh, former UVU center Bailey Steele took care of business there and handed this Lamar team their only loss by 10 points. Meanwhile, UVU coming off, as we mentioned, an eight-point loss at Kentucky on Monday night. A week ago tomorrow, they were in Alabama at Birmingham. Did a great job, won that one by 11. Both those games, Wolverines in double figures for three-point shooting. 10 against UAB, 11 against Kentucky. I think the Wolverines now... With, with injuries inside are really going to have to dominate outside. 
Yeah, that, that's something, Jim, that they've been able to do with the, with some really improved three-point shooting. All right, so we'll take a break here as they take care of the national anthem. On the flip side of this thing, Utah Valley and Lamar getting set to go at it. Non-conference game, UVU 3 and 2 overall, 2 and 0 oh at home. The Cardinals of Lamar come in here 3 and 1, 0 oh and 1 on the road. Back in a minute or two on ESPN 960. Who am I? And furthermore, what do I want? What makes you itch? That's the most important investigation anyone can make. But you don't find this out until you investigate it. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? Because if you say that money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. Forget the money. After all, if you do really like what you're doing, you can eventually become a master of it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? Smooth sailing. More traffic. Great looking ahead. More weather. New details are emerging. More breaking news. Whenever, wherever. That's good news. More ways to know before you go. You're going to like the morning commute. On KSL Today. Weekday mornings on KSL 5. Two 
run the show. We want the awesome. From the cage to the stage. Rise up from the streets to the pro. Experienced? Check. Accurate? Check. The team more Utahns trust to stay safe from winter weather surprises? Check, 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 and check. No before you go. Check with the KSL 5 weather specialists. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access ready to go South Park. and highlights for every single championship stay in the game all season long with ncaa.com and the ncaa sports app UCCU is both a credit union and a full-service mortgage company. Which means that UCCU always provides the lowest rates and lower insurance premiums than other lenders. When your mortgage rate and insurance premium are lower, your monthly payment is also lower. It's just science. That's more money you can put into your home. Or back into your pocket. So if you're thinking about buying or refinancing a home, talk to us. The credit union that's been putting people over profits for over 60 years. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Point three a game, six and a half rebounds a game. All right, so that's T.J. Atwood T uh, going against T.J. Washington. We're just going to call him a Atwood. Well, and we also have V.J. Oh, stop. So T.J., V.J., and T.J., uh, well, thank goodness they're all on the same team. But what if T.J. guards T.J. and passes to V.J.? I don't know. Well, I will probably have an aneurysm trying to get that out. <laughs> well, yeah, Jim, I look at uh, the starting lineup here for Lamar, and what I see is uh, not a big team. Uh, but a very athletic team. You, you watch, I watched them during warm-ups and during their workouts before the game uh, very quick. Uh, you look at their steals per game. They have a couple of guys averaging three steals per game. You said 12, but that's yeah. how many he has on the season. That's 12 total, <laughs> thank yeah. you. Not so he, he, they both uh, both uh, Davion Buster and B.J. Holmes average three steals a game, and that's pretty impressive. And then you have a bunch of other guys that are averaging, uh, you know, one or two steals a game. And so, really, they put a lot of pressure on you. They... They push the ball up. They score a lot of points in a ball game. And so they're really a kind of a team that wants to really get after you defensively and uh, make you make mistakes. Third meeting all time between these two. Series tied 1-1. One and one. The last time Lamar was here, 10 years ago, 2009. UVU were at home white shooting to our left, trimmed in green. Meanwhile, Lamar University, the Cardinals. Black jerseys, black trunks, trimmed in red and white, shooting to our right. Aloja Bookie will jump center against Avery Sullivan. Sullivan six foot eight, and Sullivan controls the tip for Lamar. We're underway here at the UCCU Center. High post feed. They'll put it in the hands of Atwood right off the bat. Atwood hands over to Jefferson. Jefferson corrects himself and gives it back to Buster. Buster is the last name. Sullivan with the ball, hanging jumper, free throw line, too hard. Rebound UVU. So Lamar comes down, ice cold. We'll see if there's any kind of uh, letdown after a very successful road trip and an emotional appearance against Kentucky for these Wolverines. Here's a long three. Clanks off no good from Brandon Averett. Rebound comes down to Lamar. So both teams missed their opening shot. I don't know if you've watched the Kentucky game, but T.J. Washington put up a long nearly half court three point attempt on the very first possession at Kentucky. It's like serving notice. Here comes Trey the other way for UVU following a miss. He'll miss that three. And now Lamar's on the run. Lamar 0 for 2. Wolverines 0 for 2. Ball kicked out of bounds. It goes off Lamar. It'll belong to Utah Valley. Well as uh, Jefferson went up there or Atwood excuse me 
Trey, Trey Woodbury with nice hands knocked it off his body and out of bounds. T.J. Washington bring it across the stripe. I think we're being simulcast tonight on the WAC Digital Network along with our radio listeners, but we'll call it radio style for our normal fans who listen in on the big WWW. Trey Woodbury with it gives over to Jardine. Jardine goes, starts to drive into the lane and ends up traveling. Got tied up and shuffled the feet. It looked to me like it could have been a call to jump ball there, but uh, apparently he shuffled the feet before the tie-up. And uh, Jardine's a guy who came out hot against uh, UAB in the second half and really gave the Wolverines a lift in that ball game. Davion Buster with the basketball. I'll work it over the left side now. Now with low post feed, working against a Loja pokey. Turnaround jump hook from Sullivan. That's good. Lamar draws first blood, 2-0. Well, Sullivan's built big and strong and able to get himself in there. Wolverines come down and throw it promptly out of bounds. Turnover for the Wolverines, their first of this game. Played right at two minutes. Well, that's one issue with uh, T.J. Washington. T.J. sometimes gets a little bit out of control when he gets to the goes to the basket, and uh, there he got a little bit out of control. T.J., I like to say, he giveth and he taketh away. Uh, <laughs> the other night, he, as with his great shooting, uh, he's had a little bit of a turnover bug, and he's got to go ahead and uh, shake that a little bit here, Jim, because he handles the basketball so much for the Wolverines, he's got to take better care of the basketball and value the basketball. Well, hopefully the UVU guards have not been uh, reading all the social media compliments about them the last few days saying how fast <laughs> yeah, T.J. Washington and Brandon Averitt are. They're 20 years old, man. They, of course they're reading social media. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, they are fast. <laughs> yeah, they are. We'll, we'll just go ahead and give it to them. Davion Buster with the basketball for Lamar. High post feed, T.J. Atwood. Atwood dribbles to the right wing. And a whistle after he handed the ball up. It's going to be an offensive foul going against Atwood. That's a good call right there. That uh, One of a point of emphasis this year for officials, the handoff and then turn your body into the defender uh, as a pick, and it knocked him right on the ground. Good call by the official. First foul on Atwood, first team foul. Turnover, Wolverines. Easy breakaway layup at the other end coming from Ellis Jefferson. Well, we talked about the steals, Jim, and there's one right there. Showed the quickness by Jefferson, jumped the passing lane. 4 nothing. Lamar on top of UVU. Coming down, Jefferson and T.J. Washington getting tied up. The foul's on number three. They both wear number three. This one's going to go against Lamar's Ellis Jefferson. His first, team second. Trey Woodbury will get it in bounds for UVU. They're shooting to our left, probably camera right, the way that uh, the WAC Digital Network has picked things up, set up their cameras on the home side where all the fans sit. Woodbury floater in the lane. That's no good. Rebound comes down to Lamar. They're on the run the other way. Holmes has it. Dishes off right side. That's Atwood. Jumper, that's no good. Rebound comes down UVU. Good team rebounding. Four Wolverines in there for that rebound. Averett drives in, kicks back outside. They'll cycle it around. TJ with the ball in his hands on the right wing. Working hard. Goes to the baseline in traffic. Ball got taken away from him. Wolverines want a foul, not going to happen. They're on the run the other way. Pull up jumper, Atwood. That's no good. Ball on the floor, picked up, slapped away. Goes out of bounds off the Wolverines. It'll be Lamar basketball. Kind of a wild uh, possession there, Jim, and it all started with TJ going to the basket down there. And uh, Wolverines wanted a foul, but it looked like uh, it might have been a clean play there by the big man for Lamar. TJ Washington out. J.J. Overton in for UVU. J.J. Overton averaging 9.6 a game. 16.45 to play first half. It's 4-0 Lamar. Lamar with the basketball to our right on your radio dial. Atwood with it. Gives over to Buster. Buster goes around Averett. Little floater in the lane. That bounces off no good. Battle for it. Comes down Lamar. Block shot. Aloja Pokey got a nice clean block, but evidently got him with the body down low. The first foul on Aloja Pokey teams first. Well, that's a tough call, Jim, when you have the outside official that makes a call clear across the the uh, floor, and the, the bottom official doesn't make that call. He's not calling it with the body, Jim. He's calling it with the uh, hack action. And right there, it's Aloja Pokey swung down at the basketball, and anytime you swing down, it gives the official that uh, appearance of maybe there was contact when 
to you and I, it didn't look like it. But then again, we have a vested interest. Avery, yeah, not biased at all. Avery yeah. Sullivan, 6'8", junior, was the one who was fouled. Makes the first free throw. It's 5 nothing. Lamar on top of UVU. Eloja Pokey. 3.2 blocks per game. He's ninth in the nation with 16 total blocks. Second free throw also good. It's 6 nothing. UVU trails here with three and a half minutes deep. J.J. Overton drives through the lane, dishes off a loja pokey. His shot is just slapped away. Here comes Lamar on the run. That was clean as a whistle. Buster has it, drives in, kicks back outside. Three coming from Atwood. No good. Rebound UVU. J.J. Overton pulled that one down. Hesitates, starts to drive, does drive into the lane, stops, kicks back outside to Woodbury. He'll go through the lane over to Jardine. Up top to Averitt, 15 to shoot. Jardine now drives in the lane, kicks outside, Woodbury wide open. They'll wave that one off because it's a charge on Kazan Jardine. Wolverine's not looking good right now. Yeah, and, and that was not a good play there by Jardine. However, uh, just kind of a little excuse me bump. He tried to give it up, but his body was moving too quickly the other way, and uh, easy call for the official. That brings us to our under-16 media timeout. We'll take it with him. 15.45 to play first half. UVU is yet to score a point. They trail Lamar 6-0. Back in 60, you're listening to ESPN 960. or the car washes for life. It could be the price match guarantee, or maybe it's just the way you're treated. Come fall in love in Linden, Logan, and Murray at Murdoch Hyundai. Your no regrets dealer. Well, not much uh, to talk about for the Wolverines other than they've missed all five shots they put up. They do have four rebounds and four turnovers. We've played four, four minutes and four 15 minutes. seconds. <laughs> four minutes, four turnovers, four rebounds. That's, yeah. That, <laughs> let's hope that doesn't uh, continue. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, uh, Jim, right now the Wolverines uh, just a, a little bit stagnant on offense. and. It's kind of something we've seen them do in spurts here this yep. season. They did it at Denver. They did it at, at uh, UAB. And they did it at Kentucky where they went for a while, long periods of time, without being able to score a basket. A.G. Hobbs into the game for UVU. He's a spark plug coming off the bench. We'll see what he can do. Right now, Lamar with the basketball. Leading UVU 6-0, 15 and a half to play first half. Low post feed inside. It goes to Sullivan. Kicks back outside. Driving in. Off the glass, no, but an f- offensive foul against Lamar this time. Well, an outstanding job there by Trey Woodbury. Got himself in position and then just took the hit from the Lamar uh, offensive player and just took it right in the chest, went down and got the call. Ege Hobza will be running point guard. He's the transfer from Fordham. Leads this, leads this UVU team with assists per game at four per game. And here comes Lamar back the other way following a UVU miss or turnover. Lamar misses theirs. Trey Woodbury with the rebound for UVU. Well, this is just one sloppy game right now. Under 15 minutes to play first half. It's 6-0. UVU is down. Haven't scored a point in the first five minutes of action. Hobbs has got it, splits the defense, lays it up and in. There you go, off the bench. Well, that's your spark plug. You talked about it, Jim. Uh, he comes in gives a lot of energy. Ege Hobbs, 6'4", redshirt junior from Istanbul, Turkey. Redshirted last year here for the Wolverines. 6'2", jumper outside. That's no good. Rebound comes down UVU. Jardine pulled that one down. Outlet pass. J.J. Overton near side. Fakes left, goes right into the lane. He's fouled. Might be on the shot. 
Yeah, it looked to me like it was on the way to the basket there. He's going to shoot two. But, Jim, you talked about earlier about T.J. Washington and Brandon Averett being extremely qu- ex- uh, extremely quick. This is another guy right here, uh, J.J. Overton, at six foot six that moves extremely quickly. He's a uh, very, very quick right to left. Overton averaging 9.6 a game, 56% from the floor. Overton on the season, a 55% free throw shooter, makes the first. So the score is Lamar 6, J.J. Overton 3. And J.J.'s a guy who's got to shoot a better percentage than 55% from the line, Jim. Uh, I'm sure he would tell you that exact same thing, and he's going to knock this one down. There we go. Got the second one. Hobbs got the first two, my bad. Yep. J.J. with the next two. So it's 6-4, UVU down by two, 14-18 left, first half. Lamar to our right. They'll drive in, throw one high up off the glass. That's no good from Sohail. Rebound comes down to UVU. They're on the run, three on two. J.J.'s got it over to Trey Woodbury. Here's a three, bottom. An outstanding pass, and Trey Woodbury quickly got his feet in together and knocked down a nice jumper. Only a two there. They're just going to give him two to tie this thing up at six. Here's a three the other way. That's no good. Weak side rebound comes down to UVU. Buster missed that one for Lamar. J.J. Overton with it. Goes into the lane. Stops in traffic. Starts to go up. He's fouled. He'll shoot a couple more. Now that's a great looking move. He went to his left with his strong hand and then he came back to his right with a jump stop. And when he made that jump stop, the defender was off balance and kind of went up and uh, J.J. just took the hit and he's going to go back to the line. He's really been able to work himself to the line a lot this year, Jim. They might be coming to look at this, whether it's a six or a, or a three or a two earlier. Well, there's only seven lines out there. <laughs> they got the high school line, the women's line, and then the the college men's line. So, Free throw is good. So unofficially, it's seven to six. Official score is still got it eight to six. Second free throw, good. Regardless, UVU out in front thanks to play off the bench by J.J. Overton and Ege Hobza. Eight to six. UVU, 13 and a half to play first half. Lamar with it to our right. Deep left corner, nothing there for Sohail. He'll bring it out. Jefferson with the basketball. Starts to drive. Instead, hands over to Sullivan. Make that Nickerson, rather. Low post feed to Sullivan now. Turn around and jump. That's no good. Rebound UVU. Trey Woodbury pull that one down. Lead pass ahead to Averett near sideline. Dishes off for a nice dish. Outside it goes. Here's a jumper for three. That's no good from Overton. Rebound comes down to Lamar. Jefferson on the run, drives in, shot no good. Ball on the floor, picked up, UVU on the run. Hobbs has got it. Spin move near midcourt. Over to Averett. He'll launch a three in the corner. Bottom. That's a nice play by A.G. Hobson. He really just barely dodged a charge there, Jim, on the pass, but an outstanding job by finding his shooter. 11-6, to six, UVU with 11 straight points. Lamar for three, left side. That's air balled, picked up by J.J. Overton. 12.38 left, first half. J.J. gives over to Jardine. He'll take a three up top. Bottom. Well, that's Kazim Jardine's game there. He battles inside on the defensive end and then comes down and shoots that long three. 14 straight points by the Wolverines, their longest run so far this young basketball season, and Lamar has to take a timeout. We'll take it with him. 12-27 to play, first half. Lamar scored the first six points of this game. Wolverines didn't score their first point until five minutes deep, but now they've scored 14 straight they lead it 14 to 6 back in 60 seconds you're listening to exclusive coverage of utah valley university basketball right here on espn 960 how does costa vida create the ultimate sweet pork burrito we start by following our award-winning recipe one that calls for everything to be made fresh from scratch every day like our beautifully braised pork, seasoned beans, savory sauces, and delicious cilantro lime rice. Even our tortillas are cooked to order. It's a difference you can taste. Treat yourself to the ultimate sweet pork burrito, only at Costa Vida. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes. It doesn't matter if your neighbor has the same insurance that you do. What matters right now is the quality of your independent insurance agent. Glad you're okay, Sarah. We'll take care of everything. And the company that stands behind them. Thanks so much for your help. No problem. Auto Owners Insurance. Neil Dastrup Insurance, your local independent auto owners insurance agency, supports UVU Athletics. Oh, 
welcome back to, you to, to the UCCU Center. Uh, Josh Kalunke alongside uh, my distinguished colleague, Jim McCullough. It was it was a two, not a three. All right. So we're, we're still 14 to six here as, four, as the Wolverines lead. Wolverines did not score their first point until five minutes and 35 seconds were gone in the game. And then two minutes later, they lead 14 to six. <laughs> Trey Woodbury, Overton, Jardine, Hobza, and Averett on the floor for the Wolverines. That's the same five before that break. The Wolverines, the Wolverines had uh, the guys come off the bench, Hobza and J.J. Overton, and they really gave them a lift there, Jim. Nickerson hands over to Buster. He'll drive in. Floater, that's no good. Tipped up, no good. Ball batted around. Wolverines come away with it. Hobbs on the run the other end. Takes it in. Dishes off to the trailing Overton. Ball knocked out of his hands. Lamar coming back the other way. Buster with it. Gives over to the left side. Holmes goes into the lane. No shot for him. Almost double dribbled. Instead gets it outside. Just under 12 minutes to play first half. Wolverines of Utah Valley leading 14 to 6. Inside, working to Sullivan. He dishes off for the jumper. That's no good from Nickerson. Put back up and in, though, by Holmes. Well, Mark Madsen wanted a, a travel there on that play, and it looked kind of like he might have might have could have had one. 14 to 8. UBU leads by 6. 11-34 left first half. Hobza with it. Double teamed up front. Ball is knocked away. He gathers it back, gives over to Averett. Averett calls the play with 10 to shoot. Comes off a Jardine screen. Double teamed at the top. Starts to drive anyway. Kicks outside. Jardine will take a three. Bottom. Well, that's just a great look by Brandon Everett. Uh, looks out. Kicks it out to his shooter. It's wide open. Jardine's got six points all from beyond the arc. Wolverines three of seven from long range. 17 to eight. 11 minutes to play first half. Lamar working perimeter game. Holmes with it. Starts to drive, nothing there. Dishes off to Nickerson. Nickerson hanging jumper, back rim too hard. Rebound J.J. Overton of UBU. J.J. almost lost the handle at midcourt. Now does have the ball batted away. Turnover, here comes Lamar back the other way. They're on the run. Jefferson has it, takes it in, lays it up and in. Fifth turnover for UBU. A little bit helter-skelter, a little bit out of control there by J.J. 17-10. UVU with a seven-point lead. Averett with it in the lane. Jumper up top. That's no good. Almost got foul from behind on the attempted block. Lamar coming down with the rebound. Here's a long three left side. That's good from Davion Buster. Now all of a sudden it's a seven-to-three run for Lamar. They trail UVU 17-13. Woodbury kicks outside. Wide open. Averett for three up top. Back rim too hard. Rebound. Woodbear of UVU out to Jardine. Hand it back over to Averitt. The Wolverines will set up their offense. They put it in the hands of Ege Hobza. Redshirt Jr. Goes to the right. Gives over to Jardine. Behind the back pass. Right to the right guy. Gets it back over. Shot clock was winding out. Wolverines playing catch and committed a shot clock violation. Yeah, and I think the Wolverines just weren't uh, shot clock savvy that time, Jim, and didn't really realize that it was running down. Coach Madsen and the staff were screaming. The whole bench was over here, but uh, nobody picked up that uh, signal from the bench. You've got a team that made up of basically all newcomers, this Wolverine team. And uh, What are you talking about? There's two guys. There's two guys back from last year. And one of them's not playing because he's hurt. <laughs> yeah. The Wolverines have been plagued with shot clock violations in these early games. There's been at least one, usually two or three in each game so far. Jefferson with the ball for Lamar. Drives to the baseline, kicks outside. Holmes with it. Tries to feed inside. Ball knocked away from Nickerson. And evidently it hit Nickerson last. Went out of bounds. UVU basketball. Yeah, Trey Woodbury threw his hands up there at the last second, was able to tip the ball, and it went off. Nickerson and out of bounds. 9.05 to play till intermission. UVU leading Lamar 17 13. Trey Woodbury gives over to TJ Washington back in the game. Up top, Jardine. He'll take a three. Missed that one badly. Clanked off the backboard on the left side. Lamar there, rather to gather in the rebound. BJ Holmes with it. Runs into and over JJ Overton and wow. charges. Wow, that's incredible right there. JJ Overton is extremely quick. Uh, he saw that the. the uh, 
ball handler just started to move to his right, and he beat him there and took it right in the chest. And he did that against Kentucky. He did that against UAB. He just shows his quickness in a lot of different ways. Got the bruises to show for it. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Wolverines of Utah Valley nursing a 17-13 lead right now. They ran off 14 straight points, but since that time, it's been a 7-3 run. Aloja Pokey in, Jardine out for UVU. UVU basketball to our left as we look at it on the radio. Those of you watching on the WAC Digital Network probably seeing it to our to your right. J.J. Overton turns it over inside. Lamar University on the run back the other way. Jefferson has it on the left wing. Thought better of that. Brings it back out. Under eight and a half minutes left. First half, 17-13 UVU. Jefferson. J.J. Overton again. Runs over Overton. Well, and when you have that, when you have that anticipation, and then you have the quickness to <laughs> to uh, match that, you're going to get in spots where you can take charges like that. He's going to need Advil, <laughs> a lot well, of it. Well, and JJ's a slender cat, and he doesn't he doesn't have a whole lot of body fat to <laughs> to uh, absorb some of those blows. That foul against Jefferson, his first team's seventh. Atwood already on the bench with three personal fouls for. Lamar driving in. T.J. Washington for UVU. Missed the shot on the layup. Get his own rebound. Back to Averett. Shot for three. No good. That rebound comes down to UVU. Averett with the basketball. Up top, T.J. He'll launch a three. Front rim no good. Aloja Pokey bumped on his way up to get the rebound. This foul is going to go against David Mwoka of Lamar. Yeah, Mwoka just couldn't handle it. Uh, Aloja Pokey there. He just reached out and tried to hold him and uh, was called for that foul. Good job of being active by the big man, Aloja Pope. 7.53 to play, media timeout here in the first half. Utah Valley on top of Lamar, 17-13. We'll take a 60-second break. Stations, back with more. I came to college to play my sport, but more importantly, to earn a degree. I'm constantly learning from those around me, my professors and peers, my coaches and teammates, and even my opponents. There's nothing better than game day, battling side by side with my teammates. The competition is what pushes me to be the best that I can be. I take pride in my community and want to ensure that I am giving back and inspiring the next generation to do the same. Label me. You know you want to. Don't be shy. You do it behind my back. So say it to my face. face. You don't know me. You know what I am? I'm a pitcher. I'm a striker. I'm a point guard. I'm a linebacker. I'm a setter. Shortstop. High jumper. Wrestler. Defender. Goalie. Student. Student athletes. That's who we are. Both teams have hit five shots from the floor. Lamar, University, five of 21. UVU 5 of 19. The difference is UVU's hit three three-pointers. Lamar 1 of th- 6. Well, uh, not a stellar shooting uh, yeah. night here. Uh, if there was a condo complex nearby, we could have, have uh, bricked that thing in by now. Oh, <laughs> it's uh, 24% shooting for Lamar and 26% shooting for Utah Valley. Uh, 27% from three, not not terrible. I mean, not great, but not terrible for the for Utah Valley. But Utah Valley's also gotten to the line four times. They've hit all four. Uh, and so it's kind of great when your defense uh, bails you out here so far in the in the first 12 minutes of the ball game and is able to keep you in a lead when you're not shooting the ball very well. Emmanuel Olojapogi misses his free throw. He was one of one for the season before that miss. And, of course, it's because I said they were 4-4 four four from the line. Jinx on you. Exactly. 7.38 to play. Lamar working it to our right, and an offensive foul getting called against Lamar. Was it a foul or three seconds? Uh, looks like he's calling. I am not sure what he called. Neither of the players. Yeah, they're all looking at each other like, huh? Well, goes as a team turnover. Wolverine basketball driving inside, reverse layup, Brandon Averett. Great looking move. Brandon got the baseline and was able to use that rim to protect himself from the shot blocker and laid it in. 
Averitt, first basket of the night. Driving in, acrobatic shot. That's no good. Rebound back up and in, though, by Lamar's Avery Sullivan. 19-15, UVU by four. Right at nine minutes to play first half. Trey Woodbury on the left wing for Utah Valley. Shaking and baking out there, working hard against Nickerson. Nothing to show for it. Gives it off to T.J. Washington. Outside of Woodbury, he'll launch a three left side. Air ball that one, but he was fouled after he let go of the three. That foul is going to go against Corey Nickerson, 6'7", freshman from Houston, Texas. So Woodbury will be at the line to shoot three free throws. Woodbury, so far this season, uh, knock on wood, has a missed one. Eight of eight from the stripe. Well, it's probably a, a decent time to mention it now. Uh, number 21, uh, Ion Sohail into the ball game for Lamar. He's played a few minutes here so far tonight, and he uh, is actually the younger brother of uh, Utah Valley women's basketball player Neha Sohail. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, from El Paso, Texas. That's where the family's from, and uh, two two big time ballers in their family. Two, Tra- divi- two Division One uh, uh, players. So congratulations, mom and dad. Impressive. Yeah. Trey Woodbury hits all three free throws for UVU. It's 22-15. to 15. Utah Valley out in front. Woodbury with five points. Averitt with five. Jardine with six. Overton four. Hobzo two. Hanging jumper the other way by Lamar. That's no good. Rebound comes down to UVU. Loja pokey right place, right time. T.J. Washington presses up. Averitt will take a three in the corner. Bottom. A good job of running to the corner and then finding him. 25-15, 10-point lead for UVU. Their biggest of this first half. Low post feed, it goes into Sullivan. Cut off there. They'll whip it up top. Wide open with Sohail. He'll drive in instead, and a blocking foul going to get called on UVU. This one's going to go against J.J. Overton. He won too many. Yeah, uh, you can only get so many of those, J.J., before they get you for one. Six, six minutes, 16 seconds to play. J.J. has already taken two charges in the ball game, and I think he, they said your allotment's up. <laughs> uh, they don't keep track, do they? <laughs> I don't think so. Sohail at the free throw line, freshman from El Paso. Well, Sohail struggled with his shot a little bit tonight. Um, hasn't been able to knock down his outside shot nor his free throws here. Misses the first of two. Second one is good. There you go, little brother. 25-16, Utah Valley out in front. Six minutes, 12 to play, first half. Hobzo having a little trouble across the court. Now it does get it over to Averitt. In the right corner, up top it goes to Overton. Left side, Hobza. Ege slaps the ball once and gives over to Averitt. Works between the circles to our left. Hands over to Hobza. Hobza comes off the screen from Poke. Instead over to Averitt. Averitt. Starts to drive down. Tried to bounce pass it to a teammate. Got kicked out of bounds by Lamar. Well, the Wolverines now just with four sh- seconds on the shot clock. See what kind of inbounds play they have for this. They'll get it into Hobza. Behind the arc, he'll take it from the right wing. Back rim too hard. High rebound pulled down by Lamar. Wolverines struggling a bit from long range now Lamar goes inside misses a point blank shot got the rebound put it back up and in that was big old Avery Sullivan 68 220 junior well and Eloja Polk has a difficult time with him inside uh, it's that 30 pound difference at 190 versus 220 TJ Washington's gonna get called for the charge got tangled up Wow with Lamar players everybody was moving but TJ gets that call. 5.20 to play first half. It's 25-18. UVU leads by seven. UVU has trailed by as many as six, led by as many as ten. Lamar scored the first six points of this game. Low post feed goes into Sullivan. He's double teamed. Kicks it outside. Here's a jumper in the corner. That's no good. Rebound comes down to Brandon Averitt of UVU. He'll bring it up court himself. Hesitates at the top. Still dribbles. Goes into the lane, draws a little bit of contact. That foul is going to go against Lamar's Davion Buster. Well, we, you talked about the quickness of Brandon Averett, and he right there just blew by the defender, and Buster had to reach out and kind of grab him, and uh, easy call for the official right there. 
Brandon Avery at the free throw line. First time tonight. Wolverines as a team, 7 of 8 from the stripe. Didn't get there much against Kentucky at all. Free throw on its way. This one's good. Did you did you expect them to playing at Rupp Arena? <laughs> Kentucky goes 31 <laughs> of 34 from the stripe, okay? I mean, just. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, I, yeah, well, yeah. I, well, you don't don't expect to live at the free throw line when you're playing a top 10 team <laughs> on the road. You, you 11 of 17? Yeah. Okay. Second free throw on its way. This one's no good. Jardine battling for the rebound and pulled it down for UVU. I'll let uh, Trey Woodbury. Woodbury splits the defense, drives in. Ball slapped away from him. Lamar's got it. Coming back the other way. Holmes drives through. A shot blocked by J.J. Overton from behind. He'll get called for the foul, though. It's going to be two r- relatively quick fouls on J.J. Overton. Well, that's Sohail again. He's He's been uh, making a lot of things happen. I think he's been to the line now about, I think this is his uh, fifth and sixth trips to the line. He's just had a, a tough time converting. That's going to be three fouls on J.J. Overton now. He's got three of the team's six. Free throw on its way. This one's good coming from Sohail. Well, excuse me. He's He is now... Two of three from the line. I apologize. Twenty-six nineteen. UVU leads by seven with four forty-eight left. First half. Second free throw. Good. Twenty-six twenty. A little bit of backcourt pressure. Not much. UVU gets it across the stripe. Not much of a problem. Brandon Averett with the ball in his hands. Gives over to Washington. Outside to Woodbury. He'll launch a three left side. Front rim no good. Lamar with the rebound. Outlet pass. Buster. Hands over to Jefferson. Jefferson on the right wing. Works against TJ. Drives in. Kisses the glass and scores. Good looking move. Going hard to his right. and Laying it up high off the glass so that Jardine couldn't come over and get it. UVU's lead is down to four. 4.05 to play first half. Averett with it up top. Washington slides to the right wing. Comes off a Jardine screen. Nothing there for him. Ten to shoot. TJ twists, turns, drives in, shot blocked. Lamar comes away with it. Buster on the run. Gives over to the corner. That's Jefferson. Jefferson working against Woodbury. Puts it in the hands of Sohail. Now to Buster. Three and a half minutes left. First half, 10 seconds to shoot for Lamar University. Buster takes a crazy three and a foul out front on Brandon Averett on the three-point attempt from Davion Buster. So when we get back from this media timeout, timeout. Davion Buster will be at the free throw line for three. Second time here in the first half we've seen a three-point attempt end up with three free throws well and then that's not a great foul obviously there by brandon you cannot when you force him into a last second shot against the shot clock you can't go out there and commit that foul time out on the floor we'll take it with him uvu leads lamar 26 22 back in a minute you're listening espn 960 you only need to answer one question will you accept the challenge to become no matter where you are in life no matter your interests. From award-winning accounting to marketing and entrepreneurship programs, there's a place for you at Utah Valley University. A place to engage, to rise, to succeed, to become. How does Costa Vida create the ultimate sweet pork burrito? We start by following our award-winning recipe, one that calls for everything to be made fresh from scratch every day. Like our beautifully braised pork, seasoned beans, savory sauces, and delicious cilantro lime rice. Even our tortillas are cooked to order. It's a difference you can taste. Treat yourself to the ultimate sweet pork burrito, only at Costa Vida. About the same. They put up 28 shots and made eight. That's 28%, so 28.6. So 
Both teams not shooting the ball very well at all. UVU currently 20 rebounds. Lamar 20 rebounds. Turnovers, seven each. It's just, it's been kind of a sluggish, weird first half. It really has. And uh, you, you want to say, hey, both teams are playing great defense. <laughs> That's what you really want to say. But it, 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 we're sitting here witnessing it. And while they are playing good defense, and I, I was telling you off the air that both teams are playing really hard. Yeah. But they just can't get in a rhythm to start making baskets. First free throw, Davian Buster. Good. Five straight points for Lamar. Second one is good as well. Well, and uh, again, Brandon Averett just with a not a smart foul there at the end. Let's see what uh, the Wolverines can do here with the last 325 here as he misses the free throw. It's a 9-1 to run for Lamar. 320 to play. UVU's lead is cut down to two. They led by as many as 10. Woodbury with the basketball to our left for UVU. He'll drive to the baseline kick outside to Havza on the bounce pass was, was say, kicked I was gonna say it was looked like uh, coach Greg Moss of the soccer team would, would have been proud of that <laughs> it was a nice little kick pass to the corner it'll be UVU basketball underneath their glass to our left 20 seconds on the shot clock 310 on the first half game clock Wolverines have missed their last four shots TJ Washington drives in forces it up in traffic and scores that's an outstanding move by TJ, but I, on the weak side, we've got to see somebody come to that basket and make themselves available for him to make that little pass for a layup. TJ Washington's first two points of the night coming off that career-high 22 against Kentucky on Monday night. Lamar driving in, twisting jump hook. Avery Sullivan is good. Well, a Avery Sullivan's been a real load in there. Again, getting deep in the paint, and he has a nice little touch on that jump hook. He's got a team-high eight points right now. Wolverines lead by two. TJ to the hole again. Missed this one. Rebound comes down to Lamar. Nickerson pulled that one down. Over to Jefferson. Up top it goes to Nickerson. Jumper, that's too hard. Batted around. Wolverines pull it down. Jardine had it. Outlet pass. Averett one-on-one. Goes into the lane. This one has got to go against Lamar. Everybody was still moving big time when that whistle blew. Yeah, that was an outstanding job right there, uh, the rebound, the kick out, and then the look ahead by T.J. Washington pushing it up the floor. And Averitt just had, uh, I believe it was, uh, was it uh, Buster? Yeah. He had him just on skates. There was nothing he could do. He was backing up and just took it right in the chest. Good job by him to prevent the layup. And now he uh, foul pays off as the first free throws missed by Brandon Averitt. Two fouls on Buster. 11 team fouls. Second free throw, Averett. This one is good. 29-26. Brandon Averett, a quiet 10 points on three of seven shooting. Jardine next closest with six for UVU. 29-26 the score. UVU by three with two minutes left, first half. Nickerson gives over to Sohail. Works it to the right side to Jefferson. Swings a pass back up top. Now they're working down to big Avery Sullivan. Skip pass outside. Here's a three. That's good. That's coming from Sohail. Well, Sohail hadn't had any luck from out there until now, but the way he goes up and shoots it, you can tell he's a confident shooter, and that mu that's uh, part of the scouting report on him is you've got to get out and get a hand up. We're tied at 29. Hobza, outlet pass. Jardine for three. Bottom. Well, that's just outstanding ball movement, and there it is. Uh, Hobza just knows how to find guys when they're open. Ege Hobza sees everybody on the floor all the time. Well, and that sweet stroke by Jardine. Jumper outside for three from Lamar. That's air balled. Attempted save from going out of bounds. Could not do it. That'll be UVU basketball. Well, Sohail just hit one, and then he uh, came in and took another one. It looked like he, there was a little bit of contact on that, but no call by the official. 32-29, UVU by three, just under a minute to play first half. Hobbs with it for UVU. Ege slides to the left wing on the dribble, gives over to T.J. Washington. T.J. triples down the lane, throws it up off the glass and scores. Yeah, once, once uh, T.J. gets that shoulder by you, you can't, there's nothing you can do to stop him if no help comes. 
You think, what is he doing in there against these taller guys? And all of a sudden, the ball just goes in the hole. Well, he's also an excellent athlete on top of his quickness. He can get up and jump up there with the big fellas. Speaking of big fellas, Sullivan goes in, throws up the shot. That sort of awkward, rolls around. He flexes after it goes down. (laughs) Well, For some reason, your team's down by three, 34-31. <laughs> well, he got hit pretty good on that, and he still was able to uh, switch it and knock it down. Averitt has the ball slapped out of his hands. Turnover, UVU. Here they come quickly back the other way. That sohale has got it, takes it in and scores. UVU's lead is just one, and there's your halftime horn. 34-33, that's how the teams will go to the locker room just after UVU had pushed it out to a five-point lead, all of a sudden, bam, four quick ones from Lamar. Well, Lamar used its defense there, and then a good aggressive move by Sohail going all the way to the basket, knowing what the clock was and knowing that he had to attack the basket. Pretty good defense by uh, the Wolverines and challenged him, but he threw it in, and now it's a one-point ball game going into halftime. UVU outscored in the paint in that first half, 20-8. to eight. 34% shooting for UVU, 35% shooting for Lamar. UVU hit five three-pointers. Lamar hit two. It's just, uh, other than that, it's fairly even, and it's a one-point lead for UVU at halftime, 34-33. Well, the the paint numbers are going to be that way for a little while, Jim, when you got a seven-footer that's on the bench and you've also got your uh, another inside scorer in Isaiah White, your six-foot-seven rebounding, slashing player. Uh, You really only have two... Two big guys left at six foot eight and six foot seven, and uh, Kazan Jardine, more of a, a perimeter player on the offensive end with his uh, three point shooting. So, really, the Wolverines are really at a, at a disadvantage inside. Only one lead change. Lamar scored the first six points of the game, then UVU scored the next 14. The teams battled it out. They were tied at 29 with a minute 40 to play, and now we've reached halftime. 34 33, UVU leads by a point. We'll take a break, throw back to our Salt Lake City studios where our producer, James Peterson, will take us through halftime, and then we'll be back here for your second half of action on the ESPN 960. Furthermore, what do I want? What makes you itch? That's the most important investigation anyone can make. But you don't find this out until you investigate it. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? Because if you say that money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. Forget the money. After all, if you do really like what you're doing, you can eventually become a master of it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? Looking to spend that birthday money, Tyler? I'm just not sure which one to get. Well, they are both pretty cool. But saving some of that money would be pretty cool, too. Yep. When's the right age to teach your children how to save and spend money wisely? Right now. 
With the Be Money Smart program only at Utah Community Credit Union. Inspiring smart decisions. We can see things for what they are. If we can see what they could be. If the plastic we use, we never throw away. If the end of one thing could be the beginning of the next. If we know that less can create more, if we can return, we reciprocate, we regenerate. If we are here for others, if we can work as a team, all we have to do is connect, and the world opens up. The future is about giving back. How does Costa Vida create the ultimate sweet pork burrito? We start by following our award-winning recipe, one that calls for everything to be made fresh, from scratch, every day. Like our beautifully braised pork, seasoned beans, savory sauces, and delicious cilantro lime rice. Even our tortillas are cooked to order. It's a difference you can taste. Treat yourself to the ultimate sweet pork burrito, only at Costa Vida. Hey, you gonna do this or what? You gotta do it. And keep doing it. Do it big. Bigger. Get it. Step it up. Always take the risk. Don't just watch it. Put your phone down and do it. Drip splash like the ice on the wrist. That's a call I can't miss. Do it blindfold. Next. Do it your endorsement deal. Say you shouldn't. Section 43C. No rope swing over canyon ducks. Like what's happening? Do what they say you can. Can you? Because there are those who don't and those who do. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Utah has embodied the spirit of industry. From the first transcontinental railroad to the first department store, we've led the way. As part of the Murdoch Auto Team, we're proud to carry on this tradition. That's because when we say you are the heart of our business, it's more than just a slogan. It's our commitment to the values we all hold dear with no regrets. You've got to come see why you truly are the heart of our business. Murdoch Hyundai of Linden, part of the Murdoch Auto Team. Click MurdochHyundaiLinden.com. Make some noise! Sports app, and whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. Ready to go? Yeah. 
and highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. In the WAC, we value sportsmanship on the field, on the track, on the court, in the pool, and in the stands. We take pride in playing fair and being honest. We honor the game by showing respect for our opponents, the officials, the fans, and our team. Great sportsmanship is about keeping everything in perspective. It's about taking ownership after a loss. And being humble after a win. We hope you'll team up with us by staying positive on the sidelines. Because great sportsmanship is what unites us. We, we are, are the Western Athletic Conference. Conference. Here at the UCCU Center, getting ready to start the second half. Utah Valley with a one-point lead over Lamar, 34-33. Yeah, everybody I talked to at halftime said, what, what's going on with the Wolverines? It just seemed like they were sleepwalking. Yeah, well, 
It was a long road trip. Alabama, heck of a game against UAB on Friday. And a couple of days off and traveled up to Kentucky in a very emotional game. The UVU honestly thought they were going to win that game. And at one point with three and a half minutes to play, really, really thought they were going to win it, but ended up losing by eight. And then, uh, you know, it's a long trip home from Kentucky. They took a, they were on a, fly, a charter. I think it landed at 1.30, 1.45 in the morning uh, here, which was 3.30 in the morning Kentucky time. So, of course, all the athletes went straight to class the next day, I'm sure. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, no. Exactly. I'd, I'd still be asleep if I had been on that charter. Yeah. Uh, it, it, anyway, I... I, I hate to say, you know, it's a Kentucky hangover or something, but it just didn't feel, to me, uh, energetic in the first half. Well, unfortunately, Jim, we've kind of seen this. Uh, I, I don't want to say it's a symptom of this team, but I feel like we've seen this almost every game they played this year. It's kind of a, a big lull at, at different yeah. points in the ball game, and uh, we saw it against Denver. We saw it. Uh, we saw it against Kentucky at points where we struggled to score. We saw it at UAB, and we've seen it in the ex we even saw it in the exhibition game. UVU starts possession to our right here in the second half. T.J. Washington with it, gives over to Averett. Same, same five, the start of the game, start the second half for UVU. Trey Woodbury with it, out to T.J. He's on the left wing. T.J. guarded closely by Jefferson. Comes off a screen up top, 10 to shoot. Over to Jardine on the left wing now. Jardine, wow, Atwood is all over him. Jardine has the ball slapped away, turnover. On the run the other way, Jefferson takes it to the hole, lays it up and in. Just like that, Lamar back out in front since it was 6-4 to four, was the last time they led. Now it's 35-34. UVU second possession to our right. Jardine with it. High post feed to Lojapogi. Lojapogi didn't play a whole lot of minutes in that first half despite starting the game. Lojapogi played uh, just eight minutes. T.J. drives in, contact, slapped away, foul. This one's going to go against T.J. Washington, offensive foul. That's a charge. For T.J., foul number two. Well, Lamar doing a good job, but once T.J. gets by his man, having another defender step up and uh, drew that charge there. Coach Tick Price in his fifth season at Lamar. He's done a good job. I can see why they're predicted to win the Southland Conference. Turnaround jumper off the glass, no good for Lamar. They got their own rebound, though. Fresh 20. Here's a three-point attempt from Jefferson. That's good. 38-34. Well, and you looked at it, and you saw poor shooting by both teams in the first half. So, really, whichever team kind of comes true to form and starts shooting the basketball like they can, might blow this thing wide open, Jim. UVU yet to get off a shot here in the second half. Trey Woodbury finally gets one off. A little floater in the lane. That's no good. Lamar with the rebound. Long lead pass ahead. That's Atwood inside. A little too high for him to handle. Couldn't quite maintain control. Goes out of bounds. Turnover. They're eighth. So UVU starts the second half 0 for 1. Lamar 2 for 3. Lamar leads UVU 38-34, two minutes deep into the second half. Woodbury gives over to Averett, gets it back. Woodbury starts to go to the corner, and a little hand check foul. That one's going to go against uh, Sohail. Well, Lamar's really picked up the defense here. They've hit a couple of shots, and uh, it really has energized them with this uh, new lead here, and they're really playing excellent defense. Sohail's first foul. UVU ball, uh, whistle away from the ball as Sohail ends up on his backside away from the ball. He and I think Brandon Averett got tangled up. Foul against Sohail of Lamar. I've never seen that signal for a uh, foul there, Jim. What do you do? The official said uh, fouls on 21 and then gave a little hug sign, like around his belly. (laughs) (laughs) It looked more like he was saying, I'm hungry. UVU ball following... The hunger foul, driving to the hole. Averett has it slapped out of bounds. It'll be UVU ball underneath their glass. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Well, good time to mention again, uh, Aeon Sohail, the brother of Utah Valley basketball, uh, women's basketball player, Neha Sohail. Trey Woodbury, fall away jumper. That's good. UVU's first points come 
17-40 to play. Excuse me, Neha. So hell. See, that's why I don't even try. <laughs> Jefferson works it around, gives it up top, long the jumper. That's good from Atwood. They've come out hot. Lamar's hit three of their first four shots. They lead at 40, 36, 17, 15 to play now. UVU ball, T.J. Washington collides with Ellis Jefferson, and Jefferson's going to get called for the foul. It'll be his third. Yeah, so, that's, that's the classic case of uh, fouling with your face, Jim. <laughs> Jefferson leading scorer in this basketball game with 11 points, picks up his third foul. He'll join starter V.J. Holmes with three fouls each for Lamar. T.J. Washington inbounds to Oloja Pogi, non-shooting foul. Gives off to Woodbury, nice spin move in the lane. Woodbury found himself alone underneath the basket and couldn't get the shot away, but they'll say he was fouled, and Lamar folks disagree with that one. Well, that was a good-looking spin there by uh, Trey Woodbury. As, as he went to the basket, a little reach in there. We can't tell, obviously, if he if he was uh, fouled or not, but it looks to me like he was because he's going to the line. Two-shot foul. Trey Woodbury at the free throw line. Woodbury three of three in this game, seven points overall. UVU as a team, nine of 12 from the stripe. They're taking care of some moisture on the floor. That's the slowdown right now. Woodbury, I almost don't want to say this out loud, hasn't missed a free throw so far this season, 11 of 11. <laughs> Well, you just did, Jim. You're supposed to say that after he hits the second one. That's almost like I'm working with a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Jim's been in the business for about 30 years. So 30-plus years? Seriously, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he just had his 30th birthday. <laughs> uh, the, the, young, the young man doing the moisture cleanup couldn't quite get it, and so Ege Habza comes out with a towel off the UVU bench on all fours, and he takes care of it himself. Well, you know why? Because he's the assist leader. <laughs> oh, my always, word. Always picking up an assist, Ege. Ege Habza. He's the assist king, man. See? He assists the ball boy. He assists his teammates. He's a good the, dude. The officials are still looking at it like it's too slick underneath. I don't know. Now they're calling for some sort of uh, chemical to, to be brought out. and send the huh. te- They send the teams to the bench. I don't know what in the world that could be on the floor that can't get wiped up with a mop and or towels. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, was he wearing lotion? Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> at this point, I don't even remember who went down. Yeah. 17-11 to play. UVU trails Lamar, 40-36. to 36. When we get back from this bizarre break in the action, uh, Trey Woodbury will be at the free throw line. Well, right now, Jim, the second half, uh, Lamar has come out very aggressive. They've shot the ball better. They, they look like the team that was energized at halftime, while the Wolverines still look like they're kind of in that uh, cloud that they've been in since the tip of this ball game and so the Wolverines really have got to uh, get things together and I really believe that that has to do with getting things together on the offensive end. Told you in the pregame show UVU is number one in the nation in in total number of blocks they've blocked 39 shots so far in these first five games. So far tonight zero. Eman Alojapoki ninth in the nation himself in block shots per game had 16 blocks through five games. Tonight, zero. Now you got two other people out there spraying stuff down. Head trainer Andrew Nelson, he's got all sorts of stuff in his in his medical bag. That's interesting. I, I've never There's seen another it. young lady with another spray bottle. All right, we may start a fire here before they get this cleaned up from all these chemical reactions. Yeah, I, I wonder if it was blood maybe? No, because then they would have the gloves on and right. all that stuff. Yeah. So. Well, the officials are finally happy with the house cleaning job, and Ege <laughs> Hobza comes off the bench, <laughs> runs out, <laughs> rubs his shoes on it, and then runs back. And, and gives the nod of approval and the thumbs yeah. up. Well, he had to check it out, you know. The thumbs up from Ege Hobza <laughs> allows us now to continue play to our right. He gave it the Turkish seal of approval. <laughs> this all happening underneath the, the glass to our right, which is uh, UVU's direction. Free throw, Woodbury, that's good. 40 37. I don't even remember now how Woodbury got to the free throw line. It was a sweet spin move and uh, he was stripped, but the foul was called. 
Second free throw good. It's 40 to 38. Uh, Trey Woodbury is just extremely solid in every facet of the basketball uh, game. Buster with it, gives over to Holmes. Up top, they'll put it in the hands of Jefferson. He'll slide to the right wing. 15 to shoot. Comes off the screen at the top of the key. Nothing there. Now they'll work it over to Atwood. Atwood backing in against T.J. Washington. Goes up off the glass. Too hard rebound, UVU. Wolverines can tie with a two. 16.40 to play. Jardine thought about a three. He's outside on the left wing. Starts to drive in. Does drive in. Contact on the glass. He charged. Jardine cannot believe it. Well, and a good job there by uh, Sullivan just to stand his ground and just take a little bump. Uh, looked to me like it could have been a uh, no call, uh, just uh, play on. But instead, the official, a uh, good job again by Sullivan to, to make the official make a call. Now the officials want to talk to each other about something again. Jardine goes to the bench with his second personal foul. So now on the floor, J.J. Overton, Trey Woodbury, T.J. Washington, Brandon Averett, and Eman Alojapoki for UVU. Well, at J.J. You may, uh, have, you may have to listen to this explanation. Right, right. The officials are now conferring. And they're coming to the sideline. They're going to want to look at the monitors to see what happened. To see. I'm not sure what they're going to review, but they're going to review something here. All right, it's going to take us to a media timeout. Anytime you do a review, well, maybe not. Hold on. Well, it's 1635, so I guess they're. Officials haven't signaled. Yeah, the new rule, though, is that anytime they yeah, go to a true. review, uh, we're done. Yeah, it was a good, quick review. There was nothing there. I think the officials are sort of sluggish here in the second half. I mean, <laughs> they're finding sticky spots on the floor. They're reviewing things that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Three and a half minutes have gone in the second half. It's 40 to 38. UVU down here at home by two to Lamar. Our travels to play Kentucky after this. UVU hits the road 48 hours from now. Be at North Dakota State in Fargo. We'll talk about that. Turnover. Wolverines come up with it. Bounced off J.J. Overton's hands into Woodbury's hands on the deflected pass. Washington with the basketball now for UVU. Gives over to Averett. Now to Overton. Looks inside. Nothing there. J.J. kicks back outside to Washington. 12 to shoot. T.J. takes it in. Outside it goes to Averett. He'll launch a three. No good. Rebound, Lamar. Avery Sullivan pulled that one down into the hands of Jefferson. Gives over to Holmes. Swings right side, wide open. Jefferson for three. Barely drew front iron. Rebound comes down to UVU's way. Trey Woodbury pulls it down. Lead pass to Washington. Hesitates. Kicks through the lane. Throws it right in, uh, almost into the hands for a turnover. But instead, the ball went off Lamar player. Out of bounds, so it'll be UVU basketball. Now we're at a media timeout. 15 minutes, 41 seconds to play. UVU down to Lamar, 40-38. You're listening to ESPN 960. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to leave it all on the mat because that's what I do when I get it done so I can do it. Yeah! I'm on a new level. Give your head a Mountain Dew kickstart. The latest from KSL 5 News, including breaking news as it happens, and all your favorite KSL shows, ready to watch anytime. Download the free KSL app right now on all your favorite devices. First half, and so really what we're looking for is somebody to come out and really give the Wolverines a, a lift. And what the Wolverines have been able to do in, in most of the games they've played so far this year is keep themselves close with excellent defense, and then somebody comes along and gives them a nice little offensive boost, whether it's T.J. Washington, Isaiah White, uh, J.J. Overton, Jardine, 
Trey Woodbury. Somebody steps up and has a nice little offensive uh, punch. Brandon Averitt, you know. Somebody's got to step up and really assert themselves on the offensive end here. UVU basketball to our right. They'll get it into Averitt. 22 to shoot. Five minutes, 37 seconds left to play in this game. UVU trails by two. They led by as many as 10 in that first half. Averitt gives over to Woodbury on the right wing. Hands off to Washington. Back over to Averitt. Slides to the left. Seven to shoot. Averitt starts to drive. That's cut off. Forces up the shot with a little spin on it and scores. They're going to wave that thing off and say he traveled. Wow. <laughs> That's, uh, I'd like to see that. Here comes the replay for those of you watching on television. Or, uh, no, that's not a walk. That is absolutely not a walk. It's a great move. <laughs> oh, wow. 40-38 the score. <laughs> Lamar leads UVU by two. UVU with 11 turnovers. Three-point attempt. That's no good. Rebound comes down to UVU's J.J. Overton. Puts it in the hands of Washington. He'll weave his way. Give over to Overton on the right wing. Starts to slice through. Tried to bounce pass outside. That's tipped away, out of bounds, off UVU. So that is turnover number 13 for Utah Valley. UVU came in here averaging 13.8 a game. They're, they're right there at it. Still got just under 15 minutes to play. Yeah, 13 turnovers uh, <laughs> with 15 minutes left in a ball game is just absolutely not uh, – a, a formula to win basketball games. Buster launches a three for Lamar. That's no good. Rebound easily by Sullivan. Back up and in. Now, Sullivan's really been a bright spot for Lamar. He he's a really good looking player. Uh, six foot eight and about 220 pounds. Big strong young man, and he's just really flexed his muscle. His 12 points give Lamar a 42 to 38 lead. Trey Woodbury spins in the lane, forces up the shot. That's no good. Sullivan with the rebound for Lamar. Outlet pass, now long lead pass, layup, blocked at the top by Jardine. Wolverines control, beautiful block. Now they got to count that one. Wolverines first block of the night. J.J. Overton slices through the lane. His shot deflected, and here comes Lamar back with a turnover. Atwood with it. Still 42-38. Wolverines down by four, just under 14 minutes left. Jefferson gives over to Holmes. High post feed, almost stolen away. Turn, instead, turn around jumper. That's good from Atwood. Well, At, Atwood uh, comes in there, leading scorer, and uh, left alone there from 15 feet. He just says, thank you very much. This six-point lead matches their biggest when it was six to nothing. Lamar started this game. 44-38 the score, 13-20 left. Wolverines to our right. Washington launches a three, bottom. Well, and there's the guy that we've been waiting to see get going, Jim. He's the guy whose last couple of ball games has been a huge spark with that deep shot, and there it is. 44-41. UVU down by three, 13 to play. Lamar to our left, working around perimeter. Jefferson with it, low post feed. Now they'll dish it off for the drive. Shot no good from B.J. Holmes, but he's fouled, and he'll shoot a couple. Yeah, B.J. Holmes did a nice job of cutting to the basket and a good find there by the big man, Sullivan, and nothing... J.J. could do there, but uh, commit a foul. J.J. Overton picks up his third foul. First player for UVU with three more, three fouls. Just under 13 minutes to play. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with him. Lamar leading Utah Valley 44-41. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Utah Valley University basketball right here on ESPN 960. The latest from KSL 5 News, including breaking news as it happens and all your favorite KSL shows, ready to watch anytime. Download the free KSL app right now on all your favorite devices. You only need to answer one question. Will you accept the challenge to become? It doesn't matter your situation in life. No matter your interest. Whether your first choice our second chance. There's a place for you. Place for you. Place for you at UVU. Place to engage, to rise, to succeed, to become. When you know before you go how the latest breaking news, traffic, and weather will affect you, that equals a good morning. Wake up with the news specialists on KSL Today, weekdays from 4.30 to 7.00.
We're at the UCCU Center. I'm Jim McCullough alongside Josh Clunky. It's 44-41. Lamar University on top of UVU right now. Just under 13 minutes to play in this game. UVU has been outscored in the paint now 24-10. And UVU's committed 12 turnovers, and Lamar's scored 13 points off those 12 turnovers. Well, in the uh, we talked about it at the, at the beginning. The inside scoring for Utah Valley just kind of isn't there right now. Uh, you're missing the seven-footer Brandon Morley. You're missing uh, really your best uh, inside scoring threat in the slashing Isaiah White, both out to knee injuries, and, and neither of which we know when is going to be back. And so right now the Wolverines have got to adjust to being able to get, score the ball inside in a different manner. And... Uh, that's going to be a big adjustment. UVU with seven scholarship players on the roster right now available to Coach Mark Madsen. All seven have played in this game. Free throw for Lamar's V.J. Holmes is good. It's 45-41. On the floor right now, Averett, Washington, Hobza, Woodbury, and, okay, and Jardine. Second free throw, no good. Rebound comes down to Jardine for UVU. Wolverines down by four. Long lead pass. Outside it goes. Here's a three in the corner. That's no good. Weak side rebound. Lamar. Stolen away. Hobbs had jumped in front of that pass. Out to Averett. He'll launch a three. Missed it. Rebound. Hobbs or uh, Jardine of UVU. Wolverines working it around again. Out for another three. That's no good from TJ Washington. Wolverines missed three fairly open shots there. Collision just after midcourt. Foul's going to go against TJ Washington frustration foul TJ having a 3 for 10 shooting night after lighting it up for 22 points Monday against Kentucky make it Tuesday against Kentucky that no, was Monday sorry <laughs> the days have all run together for me on the drive Lamar on the inbounds play and are we going to have another foul yeah it looks like the uh Got somebody on the slide by there. I don't know if there was a reach in on on Jardine, it looks like. Kasdan Jardine picks up the foul. All right, Jardine now has three. J.J. Overton, three fouls. Kasdan Jardine, three. Washington now with three. That's five team fouls this half. Official just slipped. (laughs) You know, you got a new floor in here, and I just wonder what the heck's going on. Some oil coming to the top or something. Hmm. Lamar's with the basketball to our left. 12-12 to play. They lead UVU by four. 45-41 the score. Hanging jumper in the lane. That's no good. Rebound comes down UVU. Ege Hobbs will pull that one down. He'll run the court. Head up. Get it over to TJ. Baseline drive. Kicks outside Woodbury. He'll take a three. Air ball that one badly. That wasn't even close to hitting anything. Came down into the hands of Lamar. Wolverines now one of six from three-point range this half. Overall, six of 21. Lamar Atwood drives in, whistle, scores, and one. Well, good job there, uh, taking it right at the defender by Atwood, who has shown that he, there's a reason he averages 19.3 a game. Woodbury picks up the foul. For Trey Woodbury, that's going to be foul number one. But Lamar has pushed it out to a six-point lead again, 47-41. Timeout on the floor, 11.38 to play. Back in 60 seconds. You're listening, ESPN 960. Label me. You know you want to. Don't be shy. You do it behind my back. Say it to my face. face. You don't know me. You know what I am? I'm a pitcher. I'm a striker. I'm a point guard. I'm a linebacker. I'm a setter. Shortstop. High jumper. Wrestler. Defender. Goalie. Student. Student athletes. That's who we are. Now the Wolverines of Utah Valley shooting a horrendous 30% from the floor. They put up 40 shots and made 12. Uh, So far their worst shooting night of the season has been Kentucky Monday night at right at 41 percent so well what what's worse Jim is here in this first eight and a half minutes of the second half 
UBU shooting a uh, blistering 18.2% from Ouch. the field. And uh, conversely, you look at uh, Lamar, and they're shooting 46%. So really, the Wolverines are quite uh, fortunate right now to only be down six points with 12 or 11.38 to go. It gives uh, the Wolverines really have got to uh, flip this script here and uh, turn it around. T.J. Atwood at the free throw line for Lamar. Following Woodbury's first foul. On the floor now for UVU. Jardine, Averett, Alojapoki, Hobza, and Washington. Free throw airborne for Atwood. Good. 46, or excuse me, 48, 41. And a whistle as TJ brought it across midcourt. Makeup foul? Uh, no, it looked like uh, <laughs> no, it really looked like uh, Sohail reached out and uh, really shouldn't reach in like that. And he's a freshman; he's going to learn really quick. At this level, you can't you can't reach in like that. He's got three. Lamar has three players with three fouls each. Who's going to survive this thing? 48-41. UVU down by seven. Eleven twenty to play. UVU ball to our right. T.J. Washington with it, working against Sohail. He's on the right wing. Six to shoot. Lost him. Step back three. Bottom. Wow. Great looking move there. Uh, lost the defender and then made a big, nice step back move and dropped that three. That's a lot more difficult than it looks, folks. 48 44. UVU to within four. Just under 11 minutes left. We're going to down low to their big man working against a Loja pokey, and Sullivan just takes it to him and lays it up and in. Yeah, Sullivan has just been too much to handle for the Wolverines inside. 14 points. Jumper outside, Washington for three for UVU. Missed that one. Rebound, Lamar. UVU is a team, seven of 23 from long range. Holmes with it, drives in, kisses the glass, and that goes in. 52-44, eight-point lead. That's Lamar's uh, largest. Coming down the other way, Averett crashes into defender underneath the glass. Collision there, and a foul is going to get called on Brandon Averett, charging. Well, and that uh, Coach Madsen really wanted that to be too far underneath the basket, and it looked to me like he might have been inside that uh, line. Yeah. But uh, to no avail, the official calls it that way, and it was a, a great job by Sullivan. He stood right there and uh, took it right in the chest. It's 52 to 44. An eight-point lead for Lamar. Second foul on Averett. Lamar basketball. Ten minutes, 15 seconds to play. Lamar hands off to Holm. Excuse me. Holmes with it. Gives over to Atwood. Atwood forces it up off the glass. That's good. Well, Lamar's starting to impose its will inside, Jim, and uh, built this lead to ten points now. That's a ten-to-three run for Lamar. Just under ten minutes to play. 54-44. Hobza with it. UVU doesn't lose at home very often. They won 79% of their game since this facility was open. Hobza drives in, found the opening, lays it in. Hobza's fourth point of the night. 54-46. UVU down by eight. Jefferson with the ball. Inside it goes to Sullivan, and he traveled. Big man really wanted to get to the glass again quick. Well, and it was a good job there by Eloja, or the big E-man. He moved his feet and created that situation where Sullivan couldn't put it on the ground and shuffled those feet. Brandon Avert out. J.J. Overton in for UVU. Well, J.J.'s been a source of a spark whenever he comes off the bench. Let's see if that's something the Wolverines can build on here. Washington with it. Starts to drive. Lost the handle. Turnover. Buster back the other way. On the breakaway, lays it up and in. Hobbs are lucky not to get called for the foul. Back to a 10-point lead for Lamar. 9.05 to play. 56-46 the score. Wolverines down by 10. J.J. Overton with the basketball in his hands for UVU. Reverses dribble, goes over to Jardine in the corner. Drives baseline, works his way inside. Shot no good. Wolverines can't buy a basket. Four out of 15 here in the second half. Rebound, Lamar. Meanwhile, Lamar shooting 10 out of 17. Well, Lamar does a, uh, continues to do a good job of cleaning up their defensive glass. Wolverines with no second chances. 
Wolverines outscored the paint 30 to 12. And speaking of the paint, Sullivan's got it, works it inside, dishes off, shot up upstairs by Atwood, foul. Oh, they're going to call a goaltend there, Jim. Oh. It looks like uh, they're saying that, that ball got to the glass before Eloja, or before Eloja Pokey got to the ball. 58-46. What is going on here at the UCCU Center? Alley-oop slammed down by Eloja Pokey. Well, that's what I like to see when T.J. Washington or Brandon Averitt gets into the middle like that. I like to see guys breaking to the basket instead of uh, standing around the perimeter. Great job by Eloja Pokey going to the basket. His first two points of the night. Eight minutes left. UVU trails by ten. Inside it goes. Shot altered a bit. Safe from going out of bounds on the miss. Here comes UVU on the run. T.J. Washington leaves it off for Hobza. Drives in. Dishes off. Hobza crashes in to the defender and a blocking foul called. Wow, Hobbs got a – I really thought that was going to be a charge. So did I because that's what we've seen all, all night. Yeah, and all year is we've seen a lot of those. But good call by the official. The defender slid over late. Uh, didn't give him room to, to uh, complete the play. And good call by the official. Jefferson picks up his fourth foul. So now some foul trouble for Lamar. Time on the floor. We'll take it with him. 7.44 to play. UVU down by 10 to Lamar. 58-48. Back in a minute, you're listening, ESPN 960. You only need to answer one question. Will you accept the challenge to become... No matter where you are in life, no matter your interests, from award-winning accounting to marketing and entrepreneurship programs, there's a place for you at Utah Valley University. A place to engage, to rise, to succeed, to become. How does Costa Vida create the ultimate sweet pork burrito? We start by following our award-winning recipe, one that calls for everything to be made fresh from scratch every day. Like our beautifully braised pork, seasoned beans, savory sauces, and delicious cilantro lime rice. Even our tortillas are cooked to order. It's a difference you can taste. Treat yourself to the ultimate sweet pork burrito, only at Costa Vida. They were not intimidated by a team that uh, lost j by just eight points to Kentucky in a game that was closer than the, the, the eight points right. uh, uh, final advantage. But they just came right in here and uh, slugged Utah Valley right in the mouth, and they, Utah Valley has had no answer. Uh, again, the shooting for Utah Valley, they've uh, cranked it all the way up to 31% here in the second half. And so that's much, it's improved over the 18% it was uh, four minutes ago. But it was, the Wolverines have got to get some easier shots. Uh, that's that's the way to improve your field goal percentage, Jim. Get easier shots. And they're continuing to work on that same spot on the floor there. The same sticky spot inside the restricted arc underneath the basket to our right, which is UVU's basket, still being sprayed down, wiped down. Uh, evidently, it's slick. Hmm. Uh, I think there might be some oil seeping up on this new wood floor. Or is there a leak in the roof? Uh, yeah, it is raining today. Yeah. Trey Woodbury, alley-oop, slam down by Aloja Pokey. Again, uh, Wolverines get to the basket, and somebody goes to the basket, and Trey Woodbury draws the defender, throws up the alley-oop, and slams it down, does the E-man. 58-50, seven minutes, 18 seconds left. UVU down by eight now. See if that starts something for him. Inside it goes to Sullivan. Block shot, Aloja Pokey got it. Wolverines control. Wolverines starting to play like the Wolverines now. J.J. Overton, coast to coast, lays it in. And a great job by J.J. to go hard to the basket. But the best thing he did there was that help defense on the big man Sullivan. Timeout, Lamar. They don't want this thing to get out of hand. Six straight points from UVU. And it's just a six-point lead for Lamar with six minutes, 58 seconds to play. It's a 30-second timeout, so we'll stay here for this thing. Well, Jim, when you've got a big man in Sullivan that's been having a, a 
field day inside and you continue to go to him. The Wolverines have made an adjustment here. Uh, Coach Mark Madison and the staff said, hey, we've got to come with some help. And J.J. Overton comes over with that help defense on the, the uh, blind side and he helps out, able to uh, create a situation where the E-man gets a blocked shot and off to the races the Wolverines go and they get that easy shot we talked about. Emmanuel Alojapoki, E-man, credited with only one block in this game. Jardine's got the other one for UVU. 58-52, Lamar leads Utah Valley. Just under seven minutes to play. Lamar basketball to our left. Buster with it. Gives it off to Atwood. Atwood slides to the left wing. Still dribbling there, looking inside, nothing. Instead goes up top to Holmes, starts to drive and stops and slides those feet for a travel. Yeah, Holmes was uh, hesitant all the way on that. Good defense there by T.J. Washington. He just never really knew what he could do there against T.J. and shuffled those feet. 12 turnovers for Lamar, 14 for UVU. UVU basketball, they can cut this four point or six-point lead down just a little bit more. Hobbs all the way to the hole, lays it up, good. Well, Hobbs does a nice job. He gets his shoulder pass. No help defense comes because Hobbs, uh, the book on him is he's going to pass the ball, but he goes, takes it up and he finishes. Six points for Ege. UVU down by four. Six minutes, 15 to play. Lamar working it inside. Atwood kicks outside. Open for a second was Jefferson. Cross court pass to the corner. Here's a three. That's good for Buster. Well, that's a big shot for Lamar. Buster breaking up the Wolverines run there. Eight straight points for the Wolverines before that three. Lamar's hit seven of their last nine shots, though. They just had a scoring drought. Havza takes it in, drives. Jumper is no good, but he's fouled. He'll shoot a couple. Well, Havza has been uh, a little more aggressive the last couple of possessions in getting to the basket. Usually, uh, Ege is more of a get to a spot where he's drawn a defender and he can kick it to another man because that's kind of his game. He likes to help everybody get involved, and he's more of a facilitator. But he's kind of taking it on himself here in the last couple of minutes to be an offensive player. First free throw is good. These are the first free throws for Ege Hobza in this basketball game. UVU now 12 of 15 from the stripe. I should say an offensive scorer. It's 61-55. UVU down by six. Second free throw, good. 61-56. Five-point lead with 5.50 to play for Lamar. V.J. Holmes with the basketball, works between the circles, gives over to the right side to Buster. Comes off a Sullivan screen up top, kicks a pass outside to Jefferson. Back over right side to Buster. Back up top, Jefferson. Drives in the lane, little floater there, no good. Rebound on the floor, picked up, put back in by Atwood. Well, that's one of the disadvantages of trying to draw a charge, Trey. Woodbury went to the floor, and he was unable to help corral the rebound. 63-56 63-56 the score. Five minutes, 12 seconds left. T.J. Washington spins at the top of the key. Outlet pass to Hobza. Fakes the three. Drives in the lane. Dishes off. Aloja Pokey went up to slam it. And he's fouled by Sullivan. Again, uh, great job. The two guards working together there. T.J. draws the defense, kicks it out, and Ege uses that shot fake to get to his left hand and then makes that nice pass as Eloja Pokey goes to the basket, earns himself too. And that's how the Wolverines have got to continue to attack here, down by seven with five minutes to go. Third foul on Sullivan. So he's out there. J.J. Overton is going to the bench hurt. Oh, my goodness, I didn't see that. I didn't either. He's holding his left wrist, left hand, oh boy. and grimacing in pain. And that, that that's not a little bit of pain. That's a lot of pain. UVU already down to seven healthy scholarship players. Now make it six, evidently. Uh, trainer Andrew Nelson has taken them straight in the tunnel toward the locker room. And I didn't. I, oh, my goodness. I was watching the basketball. I did not see what happened there with J.J. This is the sixth game of the season for UVU and could be their third starter, or third player, rather, out with an injury. Well, and J.J. is a huge contributor off the bench. Isaiah White already out indefinitely with a knee injury. Brandon Morley out. Uh, they say just a few, a handful of games with a knee injury. First free throw, Lojapoki's good. 
63-57. Well, and, and J.J. being left-handed, holding that left hand. Yeah. Just really uh, discouraging right now. 63-58. Both free throws are good. Lamar with the lead and the basketball. Just under five minutes to play. Top of the key. Atwood has it. Gives it over to Jefferson. Inside to J- Sullivan. Turn around jumper. Blocked in his face by Eloja Pokey. Recovered by Lamar. That shot's no good. Wolverines come away with it. T.J. Washington on the run for UVU. Slices through the defense. Lays it up. Missed it. Eloja Pokey follows with a slam. <laughs> Here comes Lamar quickly the other way. Contact big time inside. Eloja Pokey collided with Lamar's. Well, who's the foul going to be on? It looks like Washington. A, they got uh, they got Washington for that? I think TJ must have got him before Eloja Pokey crashed into him. Well, right there on the offensive end was an outstanding job again by Eloja Pokey. He's really been active here in the second half. Uh, around the basket. B.J. Helms at the free throw line. Lamar leads 63-60. Free throw good. 64-60 with four minutes, 26 seconds to play. Averett, Woodbury, Eloja Pokey, Hobza, and Washington on the floor for UVU. Five of the six players available to coach Mark Madsen are out there. Second free throw good. 65-60. If you have eligibility left, call Mark Madsen, please. <laughs> he might take your call. Hobza with it for UVU. Slices in. Ball slapped away from him. Goes out of bounds. It'll be UVU's ball. Uh, good job. Uh, good hands by Buster sliding over there and uh, got a piece. Knocked it out of bounds. 65-60. UVU down by five. Aloja Boogie gives over to Trey Woodbury on the inbounds. Hands off to Washington. 12 to shoot. Washington fakes right. Still dribbling on the right wing. Lost the handle. Too fancy. Jump ball called. Possession arrow goes. Players a little little feisty getting up. Lamar's direction. A good defensive play there by number 12, uh, D.J. Holmes. Just did a good job of staying in front. Got a little piece, and then they uh, tie up on the floor. 65-60. Just under four minutes left to play. UVU down by five. On the left side, another foul inside. This one's going to go against Eloja Pokey. For Eman, it's going to be foul number two, or number three, rather. So Washington with three, Eloja Pokey with three, Overton and Jardine with three each. Timeout on the floor, last media timeout. 3.51 to play. Lamar with a five-point lead over Utah Valley here at the UCCU Center. Back in 60 seconds, you're listening to ESPN 960. In the WAC, we value sportsmanship on the field, on the track, on the court, in the pool, and in the stands. We take pride in playing fair and being honest. We honor the game by showing respect for our opponents, the officials, the fans, and our team. Great sportsmanship is about keeping everything in perspective. It's about taking ownership after a loss. And being humble after a win. We hope you'll team up with us by staying positive on the sidelines. Because great sportsmanship is what unites us. We We are the Western Athletic Athletic Conference. Conference. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. Ready to go? And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. Lamar, 13 of 25. UVU's improving, actually. It was a lot worse than what the 9 of 21 sounds like. Both teams have hit two three-pointers here in the second half. Right now, UVU finds themselves in a five-point hole, 65-60, 3.51 to play. Well, Utah Valley really has made a nice little charge here, but the uh, foul trouble, like you said, is starting to pile up, and now with the uh, exit of J.J. Overton, who's now back on the bench, I don't know. You know, we we haven't got any kind of report on his injury. 
but the Wolverines have made a little charge. Time to make another charge here in this next four minutes. One and one situation for Sullivan, who's a 75% free throw shooter on its way, bounces around, good. 66-60. Lamar out in front of UVU with three minutes, 51 seconds to play. Both teams have a player with four fouls. Both teams have two players with three fouls. Second free throw missed. Ball goes out of bounds on the attempted rebound off Lamar. So UVU basketball. Jardine and Hobza. Alojapoki. Averett and Woodbury. Alojapoki gives off to Hobza on the right wing. Back up top, Jardine fakes the three. Starts to drive, gives over to Hobza. Hobbs on the right wing, dribbling, brings it out near between the circles, circles around, goes into the lane, kicks outside to Woodbury. Woodbury will drive down the lane, lay it up, missed it, got his own rebound though, dribbles once, stripped on the way up this time, ball on the floor, picked up by Lamar. Three minutes, 19 seconds left. UVU down by six. 66-60. Now Holmes just going to burn some clock, dribbling. Out front, 12 to shoot, 3.03 to play. Sullivan gives over right side to Buster. He'll back it up near midcourt, 5 to shoot. Slides to the left, goes down, shot over Lojipoki, no good, but the follow is good from Sullivan. 68-60, Wolverines had drawn to within three, but now it's five straight points from Lamar. 2.42 to play. Woodbury has it, gives over to Hobza. Hobza starts to drive, thinks better of it. Still dribbling on the left wing, pulls up, long three, bottom. (laughs) Step back from 27. Wow. If all else fails, go to the step back from 27, Jim. 68-63, UVU down by five, 215, or excuse me, 217 to play. Lamar in no hurry. They're going to burn some clock every possession now. 10 to shoot, 2.05 to play. Holmes with it. Now starts to move, kicks back outside. Working inside is Atwood. Shot no good. Ball on the floor, collision, picked up Lamar. That's a big rebound by Lamar right there. Fresh 20 to work with, a minute 48 to play. Wolverine's going to have to put on some pressure now. Buster with the basketball near midcourt. Seven to shoot. Buster fakes right, drives left, puts up a long jumper for two. That's no good. Rebound UVU. Brandon Averett pulled it down. Lead pass. Hobza cross court to Woodbury. To the corner. Jardine for three. Missed it. Rebound. Lojapoki was there, but taken away from him. Comes down to Lamar with a minute 21 to play. A big, big missed opportunity, Jim. 68-63. Wolverines down by five. Buster with it. Goes to the corner. Here's the baseline drive. All the way through the lane is Holmes. He'll bring it out near midcourt. 105 to play. 10 seconds to shoot for Lamar. They lead by five. Holmes has it. Takes it down. Stops. Block shot. Lojapoki out of bounds. <laughs> Boy, Lojapoki just, uh, he's got long arms. He's deceptively quick off his feet. And Holmes just uh, tried to size him up and go over the top. And he got it swatted right back at it. Three seconds on the shot clock for Lamar. They'll trigger. They'll get it in quickly to Atwood. He'll turn around, take the long jumper. No good. Rebound to Lojapoki of UVU. Under a minute to play. Wolverines down by five. Averett's got it. Right wing. Behind the back dribble, and he's going to be, uh, I think my. Looks fighter. like we got a timeout, Jim. Wow. I didn't think it was a foul on Buster. No. Instead, <laughs> Mark Matson calls the timeout. With, Buster didn't think it was a foul on him either. <laughs> yeah. 49.3 seconds to play. UVU with the ball will stay here for this. 68-63, Lamar on top of UVU. Well, obviously the Wolverines down five here. Uh, It's imperative that they get a basket here, whether it's a two or a three. And then, uh, I don't know if... uh, In the WAC, we value sportsmanship on the field. On the track, on the court, in the pool. And in the stands. We take pride in playing fair and being honest. We honor the game by showing respect for our opponents. The officials. The fans and our team. Great sportsmanship is about keeping everything in perspective. It's about taking ownership after a loss. And being humble after a win. We hope you'll team up with us by staying positive on the sidelines. Because great sportsmanship is what unites us. We We are are the Western Western Athletic Athletic Conference. Conference. 
to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. You ready to go? It's out for And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. UVU ball underneath their glass. 49.3 to play. They trail by five. 25 second shot clock. TJ Washington will trigger for the Wolverines. Loja Pokey, Jardine, Averett, and Woodbury. TJ gets it in to Loja Pokey. Gives over to Jardine up top. Wolverines looking for somebody outside. Gives over to Washington. Washington now drives to the hole. Layup no. Loja Pokey follows good. Great job by Loja Pokey getting to the rim and lay, putting that back. 68 65. Wolverines down by three. Full court press. Lamar breaks it. 30 seconds to play. Lamar with the basketball. Works over to the left side. Jardine trying to reach in. Strip the ball away from Holmes, and Jardine's going to be picking up the foul instead. That'll be his fourth. Well, it looked like uh, Coach Madsen was trying to get the team not to foul there in that situation. But, uh, you know, down three, if you do get a stop, you, you can get the b- basketball back with an opportunity to tie the game. However, 24 and a half seconds left. However, <laughs> we'll see how this works out. Lamar free throw from B.J. Holmes on its way. Good. 69-65. Four-point lead with 24 and a half seconds left. Timeout, Mark Matson. I believe that's his last. Well, and B.J. Holmes came into this game just a 61% free throw shooter, so the right guy to foul in this situation, but he knocked that one down. Looked like he shot uh, 90%. Yeah, he's four out of five from the stripe tonight, of course. Lamar is a team 13 of 17. Well, you think if he's four out of five uh, from the line tonight, shooting 61% on the year, uh, that number's got to come back down. Of course, that's what you hope. 69-65. Lamar on top of UVU by four points with 24 and a half seconds to play. Well, Utah Valley needs to collect this miss, Jim, and uh, come down and uh, get a two or a three, uh, get the best look they can get, get a basket, and... uh, Go right back to fouling again. It's time to stretch this game out completely and uh, try to get every drop out of that clock that you can. Jardine, Aloja Pokey, Averett, Washington, Hobza on the floor for UVU. At the free throw line for Lamar, VJ Holmes, senior from Jupiter. Holmes, eight points, four of five from the free throw line. Free throw, airborne, bounces off. And drops too good. Bounces off the rim and came back down through. It's called rattling at home. Ouch. 70-65. UBU with the basketball. Trailing by five. 20 seconds to play. T.J. Washington launches up a three. Front rim no good. Follows good from Jardine. A foul immediately. Three-point game. Hobza stops the clock with 13.8 to play. And he fouled V.J. Holmes, who just made those free throws. So we'll walk back down to the left end and shoot a couple more. Hobbs us uh, first foul, really. No blood, no foul. Well, yeah. <laughs> he's about the only guy who hasn't fouled in this whole ball game for both teams. Two shots. First one. Good. 71-67. Four-point lead for Lamar with 13.8 seconds left to play in the game. Lamar hasn't scored a basket for over two and a half minutes. It's all been free throws. Second one, good. 72-67. Wolverines letting it bounce a little bit. Hobbs will bring it across midcourt. Takes it all the way to the hole, lays it up. Oh, he's fouled with 9.7 to play. That foul's going to go against Avery Sullivan for some reason. Sullivan fouled him. Sullivan picks up his fourth. It's going to put Ege Hobbs at the free throw line with the clock stopped which is a great way to score uh, points when you're trying to compete against the clock, Jim. They need them both. First one, no good. Unless you miss. 
Hobza, first miss tonight. He's two of three now. Wolverines 15 of 19 overall. So now the Wolverines are down five points with 9.7 to play. Second free throw good. Down four. Full court press. Lamar gets it in, and T.J. or excuse me, Brandon Averett ran over the Lamar player out of bounds and never did hear a whistle, but it was clearly a foul. We'll walk back down here with 8.8 seconds left. Yeah, nothing malicious there, Jim. Just two guys going hard, and uh, Brandon Averett going as hard as he could for the steal just ran over uh, Buster, and Buster will go to the line to shoot two. Davion Buster, five foot ten, sophomore. Two of three from the stripe makes the first one. 73-68 with 8.8 seconds left. UVU down. Second free throw also good. Six-point lead for Lamar. Wolverines come down. Hobza throws up a prayer. That's no good. Lamar with the rebound, and that's how this one's going to end. Wolverines lose a rare loss here at the UCCU Center. First loss at home in the Mark Matson era. Lamar, 74. Utah Valley, 